terve! Uh, some of your nerdy people probably know the Sound Blaster. That's the old sound card for PC, but this is not Sound Blaster, this is Sand Blaster. And now the sandstorm is really coming up. So I had this cheap Biltema blasting gun. This is meant for the sand blasting. I also had the blasting sand. I'm sand blasting the old wall lamps. So uh, I think the faucet came out pretty good, but I don't want to spend all day grinding and sanding it by hand. So I will go and try this. Let's see what happens. enough pressure let's try another medium I decided to move this plasting station a little bit further away from everything. So here I am at the back of the garage. Now it kind of works. Experimented. It needs more pressure than just a couple of bars, which my compressor was giving last night. I didn't check that stupid enough from me, but now, now we can see it really does the holes. There is this like big dents and. It also did a good job on these toilet metallic bits. Great, it works, but <laughs> I spent about half a bucket of sanding things. What is this sand? Yeah. But it's all over here somewhere. Now, this makes me think that should I really buy a sand blasting cabinet it's only like 100 euros and now when I do uh, sand blasting with small parts I end up emptying half of the 
barrel of sand which is like 5 euros and uh, I need to calculate how many times I can do that because if I had if I had the sand blasting cabinet it would spare all the sanding stuff inside it and it's a reusable so that might be a good thing to invest on so the sand blasting is pretty messy stuff and when I had like the initial learning for the sand blasting as you saw earlier I was wondering that should I have this sanding cabinet for myself and happened to be on the wood joy eli puuilo the local hardware store and they had one piece one piece of sand blasting cabinet and I was thinking ah well maybe I go and look at it so they had one of those in stock I asked about it so if I could see it to like make the decision whether or not should I buy it and the one they had happened to be short of uh, the pistol and some parts inside of it so they said no we cannot sell this because this doesn't have all the parts in it then I asked them that could they sell it to me without those parts because I have the pistol I bought it from Biltema they said yeah probably then I asked can I have a discount for it they said yeah like half of price I was like yes so now I have brand new sand blasting cabinet and I paid only half price for it because of the missing parts that I already have here one plus one is double one Fine. to ramble gloves door you can almost fit the whole motor inside there it was lots bigger than I thought but better this way my wife doesn't probably agree this looks like a rowboat uh, the package was indeed missing some bits and pieces. One was the uh, socket for the blower gun, and that's probably all. And of the course, the gun as well. But I will buy one pressure pressure adapter here. Then I run the lines, and then I. I need to do like short version of the pressure cable what I'm going to use inside the cabinet so a little bit of hose and couple of adapters and clamps and we are ready to go today I'm going to upgrade my compressed air system to like extend it into the garage extension so we need to have air 
for the sandblasting cabinet. Then we should have air when we are grinding stuff here and for the bolt gun and the plasma cutter needs some air too. I have only air in my inner garage at the moment and uh, I've been using this 10 meter hose and try to run it through every obstacle around the yard so I bought this uh, letkukela slageo brulle wall mounted hose so I can easily use the hose whenever I need so I will run the air from compressor to here put some uh, pressure pressure which what is this pressure switch pressure gauge gauge there and also water separator so if I'm going to do some air gun painting what it's in English but yeah if I'm doing some painting with air gun it should be clean air then the plan is to convert the hose dummy mechanism to fixed uh, dummy mechanism. Let's do it. That's the system at the moment. <laughs> so there's 10 meters of that rubber hose. It goes inside the wall and the other side is the compressor. I will run that hose underneath the, underneath the garage. But yeah, let's start this. That's the earlier version. Probably go going to be a little bit better than this. <laughs> While I'm updating the air system, I thought that I would give some quick love for the compressor. I think it's two years old now, and I haven't changed the oil yet, first oils yet. Remember everybody, do not over tight this, whatever machine you are doing, that's the probably worst bolt to over tight. I need to run the hose down through the floor and I thought that I will make hole from inside out. It goes somewhere here. This hose goes down below. It goes there, there, there. You x ray eyes can probably find it. There, 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 there. There, there. There, there, there. Then it comes. It comes down here. Up, up, up. up up to here so I have the water separator there and the splitter nicely tied up with chibbers 
tight time what does these are stars but those ones and now it's moment of truth I will put the compressor on and see what happens I did not have uh, enough adapters to fit the pressure go gauge in but I will go with with here and run one line down and something like that I would like to have it like this but the uh, hose connection is there and I thought that if I find something smaller this corner stuff I would probably be able to put it there then and get the outlet from here with another corner or then I just put it somewhere here and it's not that pretty but works here goes nothing anything here Hibi. it's working but is it leaking that's the probably the most interesting thing I'm squirting some soap water to the connections and if there is a leak, we will get bubbles. Hissing <laughs> son of a bitch. So we have a leak. Need to fix that. Another go. Are no leaks. I didn't mount it proper, properly this time. I was a little bit too optimistic when I put it on there, like to stay forever. But <laughs> yeah, stay to stay forever with these chip lines. But still, let's give the 10 bars test pressure and see what happens. Now the system is 10 bars. Pressure. I'm not hearing any hissing, so I might be good to go. Now I might just need to depressurize the system to like mount this properly. So if I do chip lining when there is 10 bars of pressure and I tighten something from the wrong position that it blows on my face so safety first again <laughs> small update I ended up putting this pressure pressure changer in between there so <laughs> yeah I believe that's the sign of a well well made thing if you are starting to laugh for it yourself <laughs> this looks like some sort of uh, steampunk whatever thing but this is tempor temporary only this was just the cut out from the input line so I used that for now and then I'm using it five years from now but that would be cool when you're almost ready and you don't have one more clamps so I installed the input for the pressure pressure hose for the cabinet that that would go there with clamp and this end has the pistol but yeah missing one thing 
so I will stop for today. Terve! New day, new tricks. No, oh, new day, old tricks. Let's give it a go with this blasting cabinet. I have now connected it successfully into my new air system and now I think that I need to fill the bottom with sand so it can suck up the sand and blow it out from the gun. Let's do that. Sand. Just a little bit. I actually have no idea how this should be done, so I start with small amounts of this and see if it works. Hissing noise. Who's hissing? Huh. Darn it. There's a hisser. That's where my all four bars has lost during the night. Need to change the connector for that. But still, I can try the cabinet. So let's do it. Here we go. I hope you can see something. <laughs> hey yo, here we go. Hey yo. I start with this this thingy. I'm not sure if you can see a shit, but. Is, it, is there anything coming out? Yes, yes! Can I take... All right, that's what I missed. Those spots I missed. <laughs> it's pretty hard to see inside the cabinet when you're doing things and filming at the same time. But I would say it works pretty okay because I've heard this horror stories about the cabin on internet that one that uh, you won't get anything good out with it and it's like the cheapest thing around and it's clocked all the time and it seems like it this is all the spillage we created That's pretty awesome. That's gonna save a lot of nature and a lot of my money wasting on these blasting boxes. 
yeah, about the air system, I'm probably going to move this everything <laughs> I built yesterday somewhere there because it's ugly and it's hissing air out, so I'm going to remove it because of that. So I that's the good spot to move it some another location. Version two. Uh, all the air is coming from the compressor into the water separator. It goes through the pressure changer and from there it will be split for the four outlets. In this side it will be 10 bar and this side will give you whatever you put up on the gauge so it's more clean install now. You say fine and subscribe this channel. Subscribe now for not for singing. <laughs>